Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. My name is Blue Phoenix. How are y'all doing today? As you see here today, um, today we are taking care of this big old chef Flora. His name is his name is Henry. Um, this is uh, I have this option at my plant uh, shop where you can also uh, choose plant care where I take care of a plant that needs a little bit more of attention and just really like give it all the extra loving it needs um, sometimes it just it's a simple repotting and just keeping a little update to it what we're doing today uh, for plant care uh, plant care Tuesday is this amazing beautiful chiflera um, let me sit down oh, can't see me oh, put Henry right here so what we're gonna be doing with Henry is giving Henry a nice little cut um, we're also going to be repotting him um, he is in some good soil but he needs a little bit of repotting um, and I'm gonna also like stake him so what I'll do is uh, put a stake in the middle and then just kind of uh, wrap some uh, natural fiber I use jute rope um, to wrap it around it and give it a little bit more support that way when it's growing it gives it a nice upward grow growth to it and then um, Henry's got Henry's little propagation will be um, will will make more beautiful um, chiflers like this so the first day is I spray it down with some DIY pesticide that I have which is uh, water a little bit of vegetable oil um, and some organic soap give it a nice little scrub down you don't want to do anything wild to it so you just um, want the first day to just let it acclimate and um, so that way you don't have like um, your plant going too wild and doing something dramatic That's my um, I have my natural pesticide DIY pesticide here so I'm just basically spraying uh, big boy Henry down what I really like about this is like it continuously gives it a nice little mist so it's not um, it's not um, a harsh spray uh, on the plant or the leaf. Okay, so now we're just going to like wipe his nice, beautiful green leaves. Um, that's basically what I do. And first we're going to give Henry um, a nice, good cut. And so now we're going to take cuttings from Henry basically we're going to give him a nice good good cut so that way he's able to go upwards um, and I'll show y'all where we'll be making cuts like over here So if you see over here, Henry has this long growth that kind of is emerging. So we'll just cut him underneath this node, giving you two cuts right here with a nice, nice, nice another growth right here. So this is a good clean cut. I'm using sterilized scissors, by the way, and um, rubbing um, and that has been in um, isopope, isopope, um alcohol. Over here, we're going to give it another, another little cut, like this. It relieves a little bit of like the um, how the plant is was supposed to be uh, growing, so it can grow a little bit better. Um, since This one right here is blocking the way of this part where we cut. So I'm going to um, just cut off from the stem. That always works. Also, you want to cut, cut it off at about a, about a fourth. So um, the energy transfer is pretty equal, equally. 
Um, when I'm thinking about propagations, I'm thinking about the energy transfer, the amount of leaves it needs to uh, produce to, uh, can, that can receive energy. So that's um, how I think about it. So like you want to usually leave it with three leaves um, and I'll just take this one leaf off and then just put these this in water. And this should work um, really well. You can also probably put this in water. I'm not sure, but it might work. And then also, oops. and then also right over here, So, let's see if I can show y'all. Have them in this picture right now, um, so y'all know. Um, um, but I will explain something, so that way you all know. Um, this is Henry's original leaf, right here. This little yellow guy. This is a little yellow leaf right here. Um, and it's going to happen. Um, and you just want to take that one off. It's okay. This is its original leaf. <laughs> Henry's big leaves are in the way. Um, but that's how I usually, that's how I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, if the, if the client doesn't want any any cutting to be done, I'll definitely respect that and not do that and just work around as much as I can with what's going to be happening. Like I'll just let you know, like this is as much as gonna ha this is what's gonna happen. You know, um, sometimes we just need to cut a little bit of it so that way it doesn't it knows where the energy is going to travel and grow more like upright and better for the, the plant. He looks a little like overwhelmed with all this foliage and just being in this pot. Here's its new growth. Now we're going to repot them. What I'm gonna do is basically get rid of all the soil that's in here and just replace it with some better soil. I'm also considering the type of uh, plant that uh, planter it's in. It's a glazed uh, planter. So um, I'm taking that into account on how to like mend it and uh, keep it well.
Okay, so I have my compost bin here. I'm I've been composting and um, I've been composting, and so that's um, and I'll show it on my vlog so that way y'all can see. I'll talk more about it on there. Um, but I've been composting and uh, it, I'm gonna turn it into like some more natural fertilizer and and use it in the garden. Um, I really want to like you grow roses, and so I'm gonna try to use that for that. If y'all have any tips on using your compost on roses, let me know. Um, I really uh, want to kind of like approach it more natural. It's a little bit more special um, to me. So about growing roses. So if y'all could just let me know, I'd love your tips on it. Thank you. Um, so what I'm doing now is just kind of um, loosening the soil that it's in. Um, I could tell how not well rooted is it, 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 it is in. I could basically really just pull them out. Here's the root ball for Henry. We're gonna put him aside. Dump all this out. Okay, so here is the soil blend. Um, I'm mixing it with, I'm amending it with uh, vermiculite. I've uh, gotten really good results with vermiculite, and it has perlite in it already. So I like, I like that. And then we're just going to amend it a little bit more with uh, with willow. You just want to use ten percent uh, of the ratio to your uh, to of what you're using to what you, for your um, soil mixture. And what this does, it helps retain that moisture, and um, so that way you don't have to water as much. So uh, as you could leave this until it's really dry and it's really just like what i like about using this is because um i believe the roots and the plant are absorbing all the nutrients because when you're not letting when you're letting it uh absorb uh all that water uh during the time it's uh drying out it's absorbing all the nutrients um, into the, the roots and helping the, the, the plant. But I think when you're watering it, you're not allowing that to happen. So allowing that kind of drying period allows those your roots and the plant to um, actually thrive a little bit better. But you don't want, some plants don't like to be dried out too much and some plants will definitely um, show you like Fetonias, um, if if you've seen my Fetonia um, care guide video, I do a little time lapse showing you um, where I dried out my Fetonia and allowed that period to dry out and absorb all the nutrients. And then what it does, um, it's after it's watered, um, it then um, perks right back up. Just like begonias, um, what else does that? Pothos does that. I've let some pothos dry out really just a lot. Just to really see. Okay. So next you're going to get kind of like this moist consistency. And this is great. Uh, and now you just want to make a little hole for your plant. Now,
we're adding the rest of the soil into the container.
Okay, so now I'm just going to tie up Henry. <laughs> now I'm just going to tie up Henry. Oh my god. So I'm going to tie... Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie um, this jute rope around the bottom base of the plant, Henry, and wrap them around the this middle pole that I have, which is a uh, bamboo pole, little pole that I have here. And, um, so I'm basically trying to um, tie the jute rope around him. Like any other plant, you're training a plant to um, grow a certain way. This will help out and definitely um, grow a little bit better than before. I'm just going to tie right here. All right, everyone. So um, this is Henry. He is all clipped and uh, doing really good now. I'm going to water him uh, lightly and then just um, I'm going to water him lightly and then just uh, take care of him for about a, a week and let him grow. He's going to do so much better. Um, you might catch him on my vlog for the for my next vlog. Not this upcoming vlog, but my next next vlog. Um, because uh, he was dropped off Saturday uh, and uh, I'm f he was dropped off Saturday I was and so I I will have him all ready for next Saturday I hope y'all enjoyed this little video of little plant care video for Tuesday and y'all have a great day thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel also um, thank you all for, for subscribing to my email list I believe now we've reached um, about a hundred subscribers. So thank you. That's so awesome of y'all um, Be sure to look out for my little newsletter on Thursdays. Um, I share my inventory of what were of all the new inventory um, that string of turtles uh, Update it sold out like minutes. And so I really want to thank y'all for that. Uh, that was amazing um, I really appreciate it. I was luckily able to carry one on site uh, and Thank you for purchasing purchasing locally also from me uh, i am always uh, open for more questions if you all have any questions about anything of my my small little plant shop or anything on the website i you could give me as many questions as you want and i'll respond right back to y'all y'all have a wonderful day again take care and thank you so much peace everyone bye